photograph of where the old uh, thing of that is. Obviously, uh, it served at RF Coltsham and uh, also Wattisham, and then went up to Bimbrook and then came back to Norfolk. It, it's a place, really. Uh, and are you open today? Yes, we public? are. Yes, we are. We've got some member, members of public in here. Come on, we're going to have our phone alerts. So I said, come on, we're going to put a little bit back in. 
did you do it? We saw his grave, didn't we? But the big red was lovely. She didn't offend him at all. Do you know what? It's lucky I've got a pair of jeans. Yeah, absolutely. We got Can you imagine climbing that with a flipping bait? Yeah. 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 Did he now? Did he indeed? Oh, he 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he would have thought that he would have slipped. <laughs> 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 Who said that? Go for a West Walton. A proper meeting of the DX was. I was the one who actually met the bloke at the restaurant when we was at the show. And then all of a sudden I got this uh, email and uh, they wanted to come here. So it was great. Yeah. But it turned out for you. Good job you didn't come here yesterday. Could that be funny? What was that? He used to be a farmer at Westbridge, um, but he now lives at Kingsland. Um, yeah. yeah. After the war, we were sort of No, you're right. I did know Jeremy. He fought during the Battle of Britain, came to Sutton Bridge, which is across the bay, uh, and trained on the hurricanes. Was based in Exeter during the Battle of Britain, went back to Bristol on his motorway story. You uh, know, this Wellington crash, it felt well. And uh, a brand new crew of first operations to the bar, to his family three people that was out of the field, he was known, went straight in the day. So we've now got a chap who's survived the crash in Wellington, now in a crash in an island, had a seven mother ambulance, took him daily, five months later was killed over Holland, didn't it? Uh, so he, he, he got another five months out of it, you know, and uh, it's a lot of bullets. It's actually uh, some teams with numbers on the track back of mine. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. unfortunately for him, he's also done so. That's the youngest fire that he ever had. It's 19. And like I say, it's all fake, but they only built one side. Because this is a fantastic crash of the vehicle. And the crew have actually been there. Presumably over the North Sea. Yeah. We're in Tottenham, yeah. Wellington, and this was in yeah. January. We've got a week long. Um, and obviously, oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the sad thing that it's very simple what happens, if you know what I mean, which is unfortunate because you've lost your life. Yeah. Good, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is what we call the Hall of Heroes. Which, yeah. Uh, these are uh, uh, people who have uh, kept all the paperwork from the <laughs> retirement yeah. of the Master at King's Lynn. <laughs> that uh, they found what they thought was an aircraft. Well, originally they saw that the sister lived in Zimbabwe, but she came over and we had a, for the navigator, we had a military firm all in Mara. And uh, we were absolutely superb. Um, 60 years later, we did. <laughs> and then it's the end of another story. Yeah, no, that's this one. But at least the family's there have got an end to the story because they put on gravestone. And uh, unfortunately, people right. nicked them, so they had to back that one. not much in the back. But, uh, you know, for a life, it's hardly. Oh, right, there's something nice on those, but. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it's fortunate for us, but, uh, and that's the cockpit of a buccaneer. And, uh, that is 
sellers. Bye.